Hello friends, my name is Viraj. Today, I would like to show how to use your Ajax Calendar Extender control in ASP.NET. So let us begin with our tutorial. So click on your Visual Studio. Go to the File, New, Website. This is the folder where your website will be stored. Click on OK. Yeah, okay. Now go to the solution explorer. Right click, add, add new item. So this is your web form, and your web form name is default.axp. Just simply add it. So this is your coding part. Let's go to the design part. So first we will add our toolkit script manager. So go to the Toolbox here you can see a tab name AJ. Just simply click here and just select Tools Kit Script Manager and simply add that. Now you require a label control, so go to the standard, select a label control, right click, go to the property, give a name. Back color, design a back color, border as per your requirement, dash, border with 10, font in bold, ok. Now add a text box control. So here you can see a text box, just click here and simply design it. Whatever you want, you just select it. Back color, border style, border style and width of border, I require in font. Okay. Now simply go to your source. Here you can see two breaks has been taken. So below that, add a calendar extender control. So go to your toolbox. Here you can see an Ajax tab. Just click here. And here you can see a calendar extender control. Just simply click here. So this is your control. Now go to the design part. Right click. Go to the property. Here you can see the format, give your format, whatever you require, dd, mm, yy, uh, your pop-up position, bottom left, I want in bottom right, and targeted control id, control id, so I want, I want to target it on my text box control, and the id name is text box 1, so text box 1, and simply browse it so that means whenever you click on your text box a calendar will be displayed so just click on your text box see the calendar is displaying on my text box and just click today's date that is 1908 2017 ddmmyy another way to show the calendar which i will show you now by taking an another example so just cut it off and simply add a label. So first go to the standard, go to the label, right click, go to the property, right here, date and simply design it. Border color, whatever you want, you just select it. Font, whatever you require, just select it. Then add a text box. Right click, go to the property. Design your text box as per your requirement.
what sort of thing you require just use that spawn in bold now i will use an image button control so first for that i will create a folder so just add a folder and give a name img and then i copy a image that will be an calendar image so just minimize that your visual studio and simply copy this image whatever calendar image you want just use it just download and use it just copy this image go to the visual studio go to the solution explorer right click simply paste it so calendar image is display or store in your image folder now simply go to the toolbox here you can see an image button control just click here right click go to the property here you can see an image url just select the image from the folder click there ok give a height and width just simply give an height and width to an image now go to your source just simply add a calendar control or ajax calendar extender control just simply add that go to design just right click go to the property write your format dd mm four wise uh bottom left instead of i will use an pop up position at bottom right here you can see pop up button id where i will give my id to my image i am a g image button one that is an id of my image button so this was my id you can see here this is the what the id or you can simply copy this id and use in your calendar extender control just simply paste there so pop up so when you will click on your calendar image so the calendar will be displayed and now target control id so it should be shown on my text box to control so when when i click on the calendar image the calendar will be display and whatever date i will select it from that calendar will be so shown on this text box control that is text box 2 so simply browse it So select click on this calendar image see it is displaying the calendar just select the date and date will be stored in this text box control so in this way you can use ajax calendar extender control in asp.net hope you like it subscribe it share it bye